Hey, stop walking right towards me. All right, thank you. Jeez. Oh, 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 excuse me. Get out of your way. So the bandits are still at large, but we need to get back to farming. Let's get to it. So my uh, cousin's going to come over, so I'm going to start uh, plowing our uh, field. So uh, with all the help we uh, did for Jim, he felt bad, so he decided to come over here and he harvested our corn. So now we got to plow it all in. So all the corn's in the bin, so we got to just plow this stuff in. So we'll get that. So I'm going to get the, or the disc, I'm going to get the disc on our uh, 41 or 7140 here. Start this thing up. First thing, I gotta go park the grain cart. So it kind of worked out for us because uh, we don't really have a corn head yet. So I've kind of been waiting for to find a good deal. And I haven't really found one yet. So Jim came over and uh, he ba maybe took like an hour to harvest it all so I had a hard time keeping up with him and the harvester in the trucks and putting it in the bin so he was going so quick I couldn't even keep up with that but uh, he did a pretty quick job of the whole thing so now we just got to uh, disc this in so we're just I'm gonna disc the outside rounds so uh, just uh, outside, just like I always do for my cousin. Uh, kind of glad I got this 7140 because uh, now I uh, couldn't get the Alice Chalmers to work, so this can can be my backup, uh, I guess, uh, tillage tractor. Kind of like this disc. Kind of works nicely with this uh, case tractor. Almost done with our first round. Doesn't take long with this uh, case tractor. It's not even hardly bogging down. All right, so we're done with our first lap. I need to call my cousin and find out where she is at. All right, so I'm gonna, let's call my cousin, see where she's at. Uh, where's my phone at? All right, call her quickly. All right, get her on this phone. Hello? Hey, uh, I thought you were gonna be here already. <laughs> what? I said I'm sick. What is this, high school? No, I don't feel well. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. How sick are you? Oh my god, I need to go to the bathroom. Uh, well, you better bring a doctor's note next time I see you. Okay, I'll get on that. Yeah, I bet that won't happen. Alright, well, now you're going to piss my wife off because she's going to have to drive tractor. Congratulations. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, wow, you just all of a sudden got better? Huh. Yeah, no, it sounds like you have today covered. <laughs> okay. Alright, see you later. Well, you heard her, so now I have to go uh, let my wife uh, know that she gets the bad news of uh, having to drive tractors, so... Ah, uh, man, I'm not going to enjoy this, so... I gotta go help Jim today, so he wants my help another day, so... When he came over and harvested corn, so I'm kind of obligated to go help him. Uh, don't know exactly what we're going to be doing, but I know he needs some semis or something, so... So he can finish his harvest. So I think I'm going to do this one last round. Stop in, go get my wife out of bed, and uh, get her uh, driving tractor. This rig looks pretty good together. Kind of liking this uh, tillage tractor right now, so it's kind of working nice. So hopefully my wife can drive it. So I'll have to give her a. Uh, quick lesson or two because uh, I haven't really uh, surprisingly for being a uh, farm wife she hasn't really driven that much tractor I 
How does that happen? Alright, so let's go find... See if my wife's woken up already, hopefully. Alright, so I'm just watching my wife, Beans. This is kind of her first time uh, driving tractor. Making sure she uh, doesn't do anything damaging, that is. Doesn't look like... She looks like she's handling it pretty well. Natural. I'm gonna have to get her to drive tractor more often. I mean, uh... What have I been missing here? Well, cousin, you, uh, might have meet, met your match. I don't know. So, being she's doing alright, I'm gonna head to Jim's. So, I uh, already fed the cattle. They're good. Milked the cattle. So, we are ready to go to Jim's. Leave that there, and we will jump in the old ranger here. Yeah, love the sound of this old thing. Sure she makes this turn all right over here. Yep, looking good. So I guess uh, Jim called, basically wants us to come over. So one of his trucks still needs to be uh, basically uh, salvaged. The tow company is going to come pick it up, take it to the salvage lot. So he did have both trucks insured. So basically he, he basically got majority of the money for both of the semis. Only issue now is he's out two semis. So he needs these two semis. So like this field of corn over here is Jim's. Uh, this field of uh, soybeans here. This is Jim's. So we need to render this uh, this last truck into the salvage lot, so that way he can collect his insurance payment. Uh, his insurance payment is a little bit strange, as it's only going to cover the purchase price, the the sales price of his trucks as long as he purchases other trucks so he can't just pocket the money anyways so he's gonna have to purchase two semis so it's not really a big deal beans Jim has to his business here his farm business basically needs another two trucks uh, so he wants to go hurry up and purchase another two trucks because he's in the middle of harvest he has a lot of fields still to do uh, so he wants us to basically go over there, uh, meet the tow company, and the tow company is going to most likely take it to the local dealership to see if it's salvageable, and then he can collect his full insurance payment. So we'll take the old Ranger Danger down there so that his cat semi he just purchased his dump truck is the only remaining truck down here in this uh, basically the disposal site of the vandal uh, so we're gonna go down here and uh, hopefully go and perch hopefully be able to go find where this uh, tow company is at so there is the cat truck Let me see if I can call this toll company and see where they're at. Alright, so uh, I guess they are at the Starbucks. They couldn't find the field. It's like right off of the field. It's not that hard to find. So I'm going to go down here and basically guide them to the, the spot. Really? It's like one field away. Is that that hard? It can't be that hard. Man, just can't find good help. Oh, there they are, right there. Guess we'll turn around. I think... Is that my cousin? Is that... Oh, man. Ooh. Hey! Hey! Where are you going? I thought you were sick! Are you seriously gonna run away from me when you're supposed to be at home? Huh? I see how it is. I see how it is. I see you're you're not even going to stop and talk to this is so childish. Okay. Wow. 
Wow, you can't even trust family. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Big surprise, I find my cousin at Starbucks. Hmm. I get it. Ooh. Look at this thing. Now that is a unique ride. What is this? You just don't see a Bel Air, a Chevy Bel Air, lifted on mutters. You just don't see this every day. I just love that hood. I mean, just look at that. So clean, nice curved lines. Wow. Man. I'm gonna have to hang out at this Starbucks more often if this is the type of people that hang is out here. I don't care who you are, but you're cool if you drive that car. Definitely a cool car. I don't know if I could say the same for that truck. That is definitely a unique tr color. Man, this truck reminds me a lot of a guy I know, Timmy. I don't know why, but that truck just screams Timmy's name. Hmm. Man. Maybe Timmy bought him a new truck. I don't know. Well, we better get to going, so I'm going to jump in here, get a coffee quick, and then uh, I need to basically escort the tow company, Mayberry Tow Company, to our uh, truck over there so we can get it back to the dealership. Man. All I wanted is a regular clock coffee, and it's like so hard to get through their head. I mean, go to Starbucks. I just want a black coffee. And they're like, uh, what else? That's it. Man, is this is what coffee places went to? I mean, jeez. How hard is it just to get a black coffee? All right, so the... The tow company was in there, so they're ready, so they're gonna, we're gonna get them going here. Alright, they're following us down the road here. Pull in right over here. Make sure they follow us, and I think they're gonna drive right up our rear if we don't keep moving. Man, you can drive a little bit slower. I don't think you're gonna lose us. Alright, so... Think I'm gonna have them? Or are you just not gonna back up? What are you doing over there? So I'm gonna have them back up, basically right here. Lift this up. Hopefully get this back to the dealer. All right, I'm just gonna guide them all the way back here. All right, so it looks like he's got it hitched up. I'm hoping that'll work. Right there. We'll try to take off nice and slow. We don't really have to go that far. I mean. Literally, you could see the top of the roof of the old dealership. So we're just going to take it in there. They're going to take it into the, their shop. Make sure this old Cat 13 engine, this big beast, is basically ruined or not. So that depends on Jim's uh, insurance claim. So I know Jim just wants to basically turn it in and get new so he doesn't want to have to deal with a possible issues down the road because even if this doesn't uh basically the engine's still good or something i mean anything can happen down the road you can find water in your rear seals your rear ends back here you can uh, possible rust in the future he just doesn't want to have to deal with that he just wants to wipe his hands of it to be honest I'm gonna help guide him so he's waiting for me over here on the road. So I need to get in front of him. I don't know why he can't just drive down. I mean, like, literally, it's like right down the street. But, uh, I guess I told him I'd guide him there. So I'll guide him here quickly. Get him rolling. Alright, so I gotta put my blinker on. Make sure he knows. Go in here. It's kind of obvious, but apparently he doesn't know. So. Let him know in here. I think Jim should be around here somewhere. Wow. Talk about trucks everywhere. Ooh, wow. The trucks all over this place. Oh no. He followed me in. I really didn't want him coming in this way. Oh man. I don't think he'd get through here. 
I'm gonna have to go talk to one of the dealers or the shop personnel to find out where they want this truck at. All right, so they just want in this bay here. So the only big issue is uh, we gotta move this uh, dump truck. They said just go ahead and move it. So uh, Jim should be here fairly soon, I hope. So uh, I'm gonna move this old dump truck. What is this? This is old International. Pretty nice uh, single cylinder dump truck. Hmm. Kind of like the color of the bed and everything. So it just looks like it's an old uh, gravel truck, rock truck, something like that. The Work Star. Hmm. Yeah. Interior looks clean. Nothing too flashy about it. Just mostly black and gray. Starts up nice. It's a little quiet compared to that big old towing truck over there. Hopefully that will be enough room. Yep, that's an old anhydrous tank. That's a huge tank. Wait. That symbol looks pretty familiar. I don't know where I've seen it before. Man. Where have I seen that? Don't you just hate it when you know you know something, but it's in the back of your head and you can't think of it? Oh, it's, it's going to come to me. It's going to come. I, I know that symbol. Nice old Kinwarf there. Alright, I'm going to guide this tow truck so he can get out of here quickly. Hmm. Just, I mean, just look at all this nice trucks around here. This place really restocked. I mean, they got trucks all over the place. I don't think I remember one truck. Oh. There they go. See you later there, buddy. Oh, it looks like... Yep. Looks like Jim just showed up. See what he needs us to do. Alright, so Jim just wants us to uh, start test driving some of these trucks. I tried to ask him, I was like, what are you interested in? He says he wants another dump truck. And then he wants another, uh, basically, semi and trailer. So we got a lot of options to start with. So, well, look, what do we have here? We got an international. So this has a silage trailer on the back. Hmm, not too shabby looking. So, what is this though? I don't know what engine this has in it. Let's see. Man, just like bright dash, bright lights in here or something. Man. Just looks weird in this thing. We're not interested in a silage truck, but it does look pretty good. Here's an international. So the only thing, if this international will be uh, big enough to uh, pull a trailer to, so that will be a key. I need a. Uh, eh, I need to fit back. Eh, come on. Eh, I need to get back here. All right. So we got a hitch on the back. So. Uh, uh, man, I can't get through these tight areas. Uh. Alright, so... I think I want to test drive this truck. So, I just see how this is. So, this could be an option. Looks like it has huge CB uh, antennas going on the mirrors there. Uh, it has LED front lights. Uh, Basic, it's a basic uh, grain truck, I think. Basic, you see a lot of these on a farm. Sounds good, that's for sure. Got a little squeal to it. Eh, didn't make that turn. Now this could be an option. I do like my looks in here. So it looks like it has a tinted visor there. So this is probably get a uh, gym on the cheap if he wants a good old uh, farm truck I just don't know if this got enough cojones to pull a trailer behind it too so uh, that thing drives pretty good drives straight so it's got uh, it's got a few miles on it but it you could tell it's either a one or a two owner uh, so it has a hundred thousand on it so it's a little bit older but Pretty good truck to be honest. This looks like a 389 Peterbilt. So I do like this blue paint on this. It's all blue. It's got the, the slightly 
So look at the smoke stacks. They're slightly 45 degrees angled out. That's pretty cool. It's got the chrome rim uh, gas tanks. It's got the hookups back here. Uh, tires looks a little war if you look at them. It's got the trailer guide right there. Hmm. Got the nice little Peterbilt mud flaps. Got the oil container there. Mm hmm. This looks like a nice truck. Let's see what the inside is. Ooh. Man, they detail this truck. Don't think Jim is too crazy about getting a sleeper truck. Uh, I wouldn't mind one, especially if I have to haul grain for them. Just because, you know, if you're waiting in line at the elevator, you could just catch a, a few Z's in the back there. Yeah, right. But, uh, it's pretty good. Let's try to start this thing up. Hmm. Fairly good. So I did test drive one of these the last time we were here, so I don't think I need to test drive another one. I don't know if Jim will be interested in this. If you see down there, it has 134,000 miles on it. Not too shabby for this truck, so basically just broke in. Not a bad looking truck. Ooh. Now we got this cat. This reminds me of Jim's old truck here, but this is obviously a semi. Hmm, not too shabby. It's got the LED front lights on it. Oh, it's got the Cat 13 in it. Big old engine. It's got the third axle, single tire third axle. Hmm, it's got the back guard for us. Got navigation in here. So the inside of this cab is actually pretty good. So I know Jim just loved his cat that he had, so he might be interested in this thing. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't think I'm gonna have to back out of here. Alright, let's take another direction here. I think I'm gonna take just to see how this thing handles in the field. I'm gonna take a off-road little test here. Oh, yep, we'll take it through this little ditch here. This will test it nice. You can make it through here. It can pull a trailer in the field. Oh, oh. Yep, makes it pretty good. So it really handles pretty smooth in the middle of this pasture. So I'm pretty impressed by this. It's got low miles on it, so this only has... What, 50,000? Wow, that, that's just barely even got the first oil change on it. Whew. I think it's ready to go. Just joking. I know they change the oil quicker than that. Oh, so we got another cat here. Ooh, wow. So I'm kind of digging that. It's, so it looks like the front of it is like some type of red chrome. It's kind of cool. It's got the red... Uh, little uh, gas tank wow it's got the red bed on there so this looks like an old rock truck so man don't think I think Jim's looking for a little bit more compact compact capacity for his uh, dump truck here and if you wanted a gravel truck this is high-end stuff here man, that thing is nice not crazy about a single uh, cylinder lift there, but uh, it should work pretty good. Man, they must have traded in a few rock trucks, because I see a few of them around here. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, flat face uh, Kenworth. Hmm. It's got a little uh, black accents on the side there. Good old suicide cab here. Huh. Kind of like this. Look at the engine down here. Man, that is a clean engine. Whew. Clean. Must have washed this thing up. Man, I didn't even notice this. But this is a uh, right-hand drive uh, truck here. Yep. See? 
I don't I don't think I been interested in this. I, I, I can't really take a right hand driving truck, so that would be kinda awkward in America, that's for sure. Who what do we have here? Now somebody uh must have lowered this thing. I mean look how low that thing rides. This thing rides low. This has the colored uh rear wheel guards on it. It's got a colored gas tank. Whew. Look at all the chrome. Chrome and lights everywhere. Problem with these lights is I guarantee no matter what, any time of the day, one of these lights has ha got to be out. That's too many lights. Man, I would hate changing all them lights. Wow, look at this thing. Looks like it has, so I see a lot of semi drivers do that. They lower the seat. Man, I'm sitting really low. A lot of the tall semi drivers, they lower the seat way low man got a sleeper in back I know Jim isn't crazy about this but I just have to try this thing out sounds good don't think I'm gonna test drive it I just don't think Jim's even even contemplating this thing but uh it is a purdy truck but it looks like a truck that you would take to a truck show and not use on the farm well here's another Ford 9000 for you man them front chrome uh, rims just look so good oh why they look good so it's got chrome and then it's got a little uh, flat black it's got a flat black frame looks like it's power coated and it's got the big mudden tires on there. I mean, I know Jim already has a Ford 9000. Man, this thing. I think this thing looks better on Jim's other truck. So this is a T610. Hmm. It's got little painted accents on it. This is kind of a good looking uh, truck, to be honest. I don't know why I like this truck, but it's just... Man. Kind of got a special look to it. It's kind of a snub nose, I guess. Really short body truck. I think it kind of looks nice, to be honest. I mean, I really like that grill. I mean, just look at that grill. That thing can move some cattle out of the way. Holy cow. Did uh, something blow up in this truck? Somebody take all the electronics out of this truck. I mean, every single bit of it. It's like it's black blank. This is weird. It's too bad such a good looking truck has a, a weird in interior. I mean, I've never seen that weird interior. It looks like some future shit. Not a bad truck. Not a bad truck. Just definitely some futuristic uh, interior. Hmm. I know somebody in Nebraska that has almost the exact same truck as this. These load stars, man, they are good. Don't think Jim wants this old of a truck. Man, that thing, that's a good looking truck. I just have to hear this thing. Yeah, yeah. All these things sound, all these load stars just sound so good. Man, these international sound good. Wow, so this is a good looking truck here. I don't know why I like it so much, but that black on white just kind of, just kind of looks great. Does have a box on the back, so this, this could definitely be an option. It's got triple axles, so wow. Yeah, it's pretty good interior, so, hmm. What that was I, I was trying to freaking change the radio station and all of a sudden that came on that was not me I have no idea why that came on that screen I'm trying not to look at it but every time I look around it just seems like my eyes are drawn to it this has a really low miles on it so that's good oh oops guess I probably should lower the 
the bed on this. Yeah, probably should lower that before I start driving this thing around. All right, let's drive this thing. Woo! Definitely got the horses, that's for sure. Looks like they blacked out that bottom mirror. Must not need to see if you're gonna cut somebody off or not, something. I do like the looks of this truck though. Man, it's a good looking truck, so. Seriously gonna consider purchasing this truck or try to talk Jim into it. I'm just gonna have to somehow change that uh, picture on the radio. That, uh, you know, that'd be kind of awkward. Jim walks in and sees me looking at it. You know, I just, I don't, don't really want to have that awkward conversation. Ooh. Man, this, this, this looks just like my aunt's truck. I wonder if she sold it. This thing looks just like my old uncle's truck. Hmm, what do we have? What? Did Squad leave his truck over here? Yeah. Man, did Squad sell a truck here? He still has his logo right there. Huh, I wonder when Grant must have been here and traded off a truck. It's an old truck or something. Hmm. Looks like we got another Kenworth here. Man, I've, I've drove these a lot. So this has a trailer on the back. Man, you talk about a match made in heaven. Woo! That is a good looking hauling rig right there. I'm not crazy about green, but that, that just looks like it's met for each other. And so some old trucker must have sold this truck. Man, I, I do like the looks of this old truck. Definitely drove a lot of these in our day, but yeah, that's a good looking rig. I don't know, I, I just, obviously we don't need a flatbed, but it's almost, it, it would be just horrible breaking up this pair here. You buy this, you gotta buy both. I mean, that's just a given here. What? This is a crazy trailer. Do you see this Wilson trailer? This thing has four axles on it. This thing is crazy long. Holy cow. I have to talk to Jim. Ooh. That is no way this pace setter is legal. No way. That's got to be illegal somewhere, somehow. That trailer is huge. I mean, just look how high this trailer is. Wow. Looks like we got a pace setter trailer A here. So that's pretty normal. I mean, look at this size on the side of this trailer. And then you look at this. I mean, this is like one and a half that. It's crazy how big that is. Alright, so I think we looked at all the trucks. We didn't miss one, did we? No, I don't think so. I t so we looked at all the trucks. So I'm thinking... So my opinion... So that's a nice old international. I don't know. I think I may want that on my farm. So I'm going to try to steer Jim away from that. I don't want him to really get towards that international. I think this cat with the cat 13 in it so this truck in my opinion this would be the best for Jim so that truck and uh, maybe this Peterbilt here so that would be a good this thing has a hitch I didn't look forgot to look oh yep Already got a hitch on the back, so yeah, this would be a good old grain truck to have. It's got a metal bed in the back, so you can definitely put a little bit of rocks in there still. And just odd stuff, fertilizer maybe, or grain, or seed. Yeah, so in my opinion, them two trucks would be the best for Jim. So my second pick probably be this uh, 
basically this uh, Kinworth uh, T610. I do just like the looks of this cattle car. That's a good looking truck there. And probably, I guess they don't have many grain trucks here this time. Kind of odd. Last time they had a ton of them. But this International for the second truck. Yeah. So that is going to be my uh, opinions I'm going to give Jim. So I'll see what he uh, agrees on. It probably has to deal with a lot on if the dealer will work with him all right and see what he turns out but thank you all for watching and i will see you later here in oregon thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time